Hello everyone and welcome back. In this lecture we look at another method in the collections module. It's called the DQ method, also known as double ended Q method. And we use this DQ method to add or remove elements from both ends of our DQ object. Let's start by creating the DQ object. First of all, we need to import the collections module, import collections, and then from collections, we can call the DQ method and then pass elements, let's say XYZ RST. Okay, we have a DQ object containing the elements X, Y, Z, R, S, and T. And we can save this in a variable, let's say A. So if we call A, we have a DQ object. And if we call the type method on our object A, we see that it's a collections DQ object. There are certain methods that we can use on our collections object. For instance, we can find out the length of our DQ object by passing the length function. So length of A, we see that it has, its length is six, one, two, three, four, five, six. We can also index our DQ object. For instance, our DQ object A at index three, will give us R, index 0, 1, 2, 3. Similarly, we can say our DQ object at index 1, we have Y. Our DQ object at index, let's say, negative 2. So index negative 1 at the end, negative 2 is S. That's what we have there. Our DQ object A from index, let's say, two to four, that will give us an error. Our DQ object A at index zero will give us the first element. Similarly, we can also remove elements by calling the remove method on our DQ object. So we can say A dot remove and then pass the elements we want to remove. For instance, if I want to remove let's say S, all I have to do is uh, my DQ object A that remove and then pass S. Now if I call A, we no longer have S. There are two methods called append and extend that we can use to add elements to the right end of our DQ object, append and extend. They are very similar to the append and extend methods on list objects. Let's see these methods on our DQ object. Let's start by creating an empty object. So collections that DQ and let's save this in a variable called A. If we call A now, we have an empty DQ. So we can add elements to it by using the extend method, for instance. So we can say our object A, our DQ object A dot extend. Then we can add elements like X, Y, Z, R, S, T, V. So if you call our object A, we have X, Y, Z, R, S, T, V. And then we can call the extend method on it. And let's say, if you want to add the element C at the end, we can use the extend method. So this will add the element C at the end on the right side. Run it and call A. Now we see C is added. What if we want to add two elements, we can say, let's say D and E, 
run if we call a now we see that d and e are added at the end similarly we can add more elements we can even pass a list let's say f g h and i and if we call a we have a list containing f g h and i and we can use the remove method to remove let's say f g h and i the elements we just added now if we call a we have these elements so the append method adds one element at a time at the right end of our object so here the, i mean the extend method adds one element at the end so here we see we have added the two elements d and e so one at a time at the end next let's see the append method so we have a that append let's say j if we call the our a object now we see that j is added what if i add two elements using the append method so a that append let's say k and l run it now if you call a you'll see that k and l are added as one element see that k and l are added as one element so that's the difference between append and extend extend adds each element one at a time at the end of our dq object whereas the append method adds this elements as one okay so if i say a dot extend and if i pass the same elements k and l as above it will add those two elements one at a time at the end you see here we have k and l one at a time whereas the append method adds all the elements as one let's say m and o so call our object a you see here those three strings m and o are added as one object great and in the next lecture we'll see how we can add elements at the left end of our dq object so far we have added elements at the right end by using the extend and append methods and in the next lecture we'll see how to add elements on the left end of our dq object by using methods called extend left and append left thank you everyone